mobile games are a fickle beast to deal with. There will always be the pitfall of getting super into a game and then it hits you with paywall after paywall after inescapable Why? I personally had my mind set on an isometric runner featuring heavily armed college kids while my ex at the time preferred the exact same method but starring sentient cookies. Heard that game's doing alright, because Blue Archive won't let me back in no matter how much free space I have on my device after converting an editing phone into an art phone and my burner phone into a miniature tablet. Fun as Captain Soup is, I want adventure, high stakes, fantasy, also no ads, but I'll take minimal. Oh. Hmm? Have you seen this ad? Stone Story is... Well, it's a few things, to be honest. The game has this really cool quality of improving and unlocking features as you progress, which is super cool to talk about, but I don't want to spoil my own first episode here. So allow me to induct you into a text-based story. You see nothing. Well, yeah, I can fucking see that. You hear nothing. Yeah, I can definitely confirm that as well. You feel... Something. I don't know about that one. The ground. It feels rocky. Oh. I'ma pick up some stone. I found five stones and one of the stones has something etched onto it. Uh. Okay. It's an eye. I think I saw a book that looked like this at one point. Oh, jeez! Stone Story is an idle adventure made entirely out of text, so it stretches this story into an adventure. Awesome, that's what I came here for. With the addition of a point five to our dimension, I collected rocks, explored the cliffs and caves, and built myself a little speedrunner shelter. I took note of the many dead trees while out collecting wood sticks, tossed rocks at what I think has to be the biggest fucking mosquito I've seen since the one I was able to measure with the doorknob on my front door. I got stopped by Tree and Shenhan. Oh, fuck. That's not- I- that, it, it, it's- Alt. Return whence you came, or jump into the water, I care not which. Yeah, okay. Decided to be 26 instead of 18 and pieced out back to my shelter with my scraps. At home, I made a workstation and got myself together a crafter starter kit like my not-so-little bro taught shovel and paw. I went prospecting and now... I has a knife. Gave the blade a good scraping and felt a little self-conscious even though the only other creatures here seemed to dislike my presence. So I set out to improve my stations a bit. I struggled with shoveling, found something kind of tasty looking, looked over that eye rock I have on my person now, and started holding it up to things to see what happened. This time, huge mosquito. <laughs> it, it, it tells me lore! So I made it back to Trien, scanned- You're not gonna like- Gilbert the Spiteful. Once a petty individual who devolved into a dead tree, Gilbert is cursed with consciousness, awakened to serve his master, yet trapped in a stationary form. Well, this wasn't my intended uh, path of e travel. I didn't think I was going to have to freaking kill him. Is that a soul stone? Impressive. Very well. You may squeeze by. Zylogi. Z. 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 Xyloa Xylalgia 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 will be interested in this Somehow avoided needing to fight Gilbert Like I did the little axe wave Then I took the treasure chest Heading back to camp for them upgrades There's a dungeon in here? I guess it's a good thing this workstation is on the opposite end of the hut I sleep in Speaking of sleep, I've noticed I haven't needed to do that lately Anyways, just tar in here. Nail biter. The caves of fear are partially filled by a sulfurous lake. Not a deterrent from any creepy crawlers who make it of it their lair. The caves were absolutely teeming with spiders, which I tried to make quick work of while taking mental notes of the arid tar. That's a big scooter. Skip. 
skin peeler. Tar clumps occasionally drip in from above the ceiling. A produce of the tree roots above. What does it have to do with the spider? All right, time to die. Oh, there's more of them. Actually feels sorry for the spiky tongue. Wound licker. Until I got licked by a crowbat. I went back and this time I used my hatchet. So I went back again, and this time I just threw rocks. Glad we haven't run into But I am going through my Third time's the charm. Speaking of charms, new rock! Starstone. Ow. It's a stone with a star on it. Something happen? Oh, jeez, here we go. Stone Story is an idle dungeon crawler that is entirely made out of text and punctuation. I get the eerie feeling this is the last time that I can use that joke for some odd reason. I readjusted my gear and set out for a nice peaceful walk on the rocky plateau to accept my newfound epiphanies with some top rock by the Atlantic. I found a chest labeled Property of Joe Crap, Don't Forge, and headed past Gilbert to do some more exploring. Schwaxed a scarab that bled blue for some reason. Found another tasty looking hunk of metal. I was then struck with the haunting revelation that I am a kobold that eats metal ore, holding three rather large pieces of silver, and I'm still not hungry. I have made a smithy hammer, crap clean bowl. I made an anvil, forged that sword I found, uh, and went to go test it out on the bats in the caves while I collect tar blobs. Neck warmer. Humble treasure. So we got the wound liquor and the neck warmer. It's in the chest. Some more forgery, the backtrack song, plunder, note, fuge, yeah, phew, no. Later, I finally made a little dinghy and row, row, rowed my boat gently to a door. A conspicuous bronze gate is built into the cliffside. Examine. See, we got some runic on the top there. I'm sure that that means something. You have no key. Open up! I know one of you fucks can hear me! I can see your feet under the door! Please answer! Get out here! Let Jesus into your life! Went back to trekking through Deadwood instead. Had a and verbal a glitch. Awesome, and that means that I can probably make a viable crossbow for exploration. Why did I say it like that? Dug into some more rock and stone and enjoyed the view over it's the cliff side. What the? Greeting, simple one. I am Dysangelos, the bearer of bad news, messenger of Acropolis. I'm sorry, bearer of bad news. What is your name? Will I go by Oise? 
Boise, I bear an important message. You may not have noticed. You are not quite alive. Well, I mean, I haven't exactly felt alive in a little bit. I mean, I do during certain times, but, it, you know, I was kind of just on my robot type D for, like, the past 40 minutes. Sins of past developed you into mineral form. However, the Sight Stone awakened you once more. The Sight Stone is one of the nine Soul Stones, with it, each with unique powers. I can see you have also found the Star Stone. Yeah, you know, I've kind of just been using it for the item that uh, item magnet. I'd, uh, I, I, I kind of figured out that things are going to keep getting better as I just find these. This world exists in perpetual darkness, but it was not always this way. Ages ago, evil took hold of the soul stones and plunged us into the into the nether. You mean like Minecraft? Light may once again shine upon us if all nine soul stones are reunited. It's a bit more like Terraria. Things are kind of fucked. It seems the Sight Stone has chosen you for this quest. Oisey, you must reunite all nine stones. If you need guidance, Come see me anytime. Well, that explains why I'm not hungry. Eh, more exploration then. I marked a massive spoolie that dropped a keystone it that just looks like a normal piece of moonstone. Oh! Stone story, is it? Wait, I already exhausted that. The keystone shoots things with magic bolts, lets me fuse things with key, and has an achievement that's a fucking pun. I accompanied my crossbow bolts with Masenko Haas, and then I got frame one split in half by Xylalgia. Grappling hook! Who's that Pokemon? Dysangelos, the bearer of bad news. Dysangelos is a unique Acropol Acropolite who delivers urgent messages within the Cloud City and occasionally elsewhere in the Dark World. When not working, Dysangelos enjoys stargazing, alchemy, and stone skipping. Greetings, Oisey. Do you need some guidance? Yes. In the canyon below, you will find Xylalgia, the person whose name you spent a good two minutes fumbling. Residue of Loose. It holds the experience stone. Must chop wood! And it was rematch time. Alright, let's go. Ow. That is a lot of help. I don't foresee this going well. a lot of key from her. I, I did it! The experience stone. Okay, I'm just gonna, you know, mentally prepare myself right at this moment because I already know that this thing's just gonna hurt. The... Oh! <laughs> oh, that feels weird. So this stone harnesses EXP into you. I did it. Feels weirdly indescribable, but it does give me gas. Some more experimentations with my anvil, and I've made a beat crossbow and a warhammer when I dropped my mallet onto my entire utility belt. Then I went to go bother Dysangelo again, show him a new belt. Also the thing. 
Greetings, Boise. Do you require guidance? Yeah. You must find a way to descend the waterfall, below which there is a passage. Try your different items and see what works. Grapple down the waterfall. Got it, mysterious space squid. Waterfall. Wait. Chop up that tree. Or don't. Yeet. Huh. Oh, that's a brave boy. That's a rather brave boy. Unsurprisingly, the waterfalls are home to a massive grove of huge mushrooms that are homes. Shroomville. I, I found Shroomville. I, I found the Mushroom King. I wrecked the monsters terrorizing the streets and ogled a big-ass snail before I went to investigate a sign notating a shop. In the distance, a faint column of white smoke rises gracefully, spiraling like a wispy enchanted thread. Its alluring dance draws the eye amidst the towering fungi. While rummaging around the town, I found some wands and a mana st Hang on. That looks like this rock I found before that I was- Wow, I just remembered the whole not hungry thing again. Anyways, this looks like a rock I found before. Let's go to that shop. And there it is. It's a shop. At least it looks like one. Piles of weapons line the mushroom house's circular walls. A fireplace of whimsical flames lights the interior. A mess of cold cloth, distinctly centered on the room's floor, slowly erects into a tall, hollow figure. It rushes toward you. Greetings, traveler. Welcome to my shop. I am Lootmeister Hans. If you are looking for loot, you've come to the right place. The mushroom forest is dangerous, full of mindless vigor foes. Best to get up. For my new customers, with the purchase of any two items, you'll get this free crafting booklet. I will be giving Hans a lot of business. I can sense it. I gotta advertise that. Poison's Edge. No. Bought some stuff to combine. Scribbled all the stuff I combined into my new little booklet that I keep on my hip. Fuged tings and backtracked through a more fearful version of the caves. Pretty sure I'm gonna die. Yep. Fuged things again and retried. Let us attempt this once more. We seem that cunning. Yitta. I am now level three. And while not paying attention, I ended up in a pun mission. Treasure. Hello again. Oh, oh, it is good to see my loot being put to good use. What have you been up to, Izzy? You've done what? 28 hands defeated? Well done, yes, yes. If you push deeper into the fungal forest, you are bound to find the haunted hills. Beware, the halls are cursed, overrun by aether foes. As it happens, I, Hans, am of aether. Same as the foes in the halls. You could say I am familiar with that element. Yes, quite familiar. I have a special deal just for you. While poison is perfect for the mushroom forest, the corrupt festering in the halls requires a more of a vigorous touch. I call it the Ghost Slayer. It's a powerful enchanted staff that can be purchased. 
for a price. Because that's how purchases work. But you must promise you must not use it against Hans. That would not end well. For you, that is. Okay. I had no intentions on using it on you. You seem like a cool guy. Excellent! It's quite a unique weapon, not merchandise, so I can't hold on to it for long. Inventory must always be moving. The Ghost Slayer is a verse. No. You. John. Smash! Now let's test me mallet. Damn good. Do other things while you wait for the uh, cool things to happen on the screen. The ants can't even get out of the damn hand. During my Warhammer test, I swapped to a staff once I saw a shroom big enough to make me taste my own lack of color. Yeah, that's an Angie boy. Oh, shit. Yo, he just duffed me in the face. Oh, fuck, he's gonna do it again. I had to try again. I raised health through the shroom caves till I could get my run back, collected my past self, and yeah, proceeded to get shroom slayed while unloading bolts and hammer swings into the Yeah, I don't the like the way shroom. you just duffed my life the first time. Oh. This man reels back for a year and then just absolutely Donkey Kong banana slammers you, jeez. An ancient gateway lies beyond the fungi garden. It's rusty railing, a haunting, ominous grin. I am now level four. Well, new stone time. The quest stone. Okay, so I think this is going to be the last one we find for today, but uh, let's just get this over with. It's got an exclamation point on it. All right, I feel like I already know what's going to happen. <laughs> Unlock daily quest. I was wrong. I was incorrect in assuming that I knew what was going to happen. Neat. So after that, I decided to investigate a fence that looked haunted as who goes hither? They know me as Scotty the Skull, Keeper of the Gate. My name's Oisey. Oisey, eh? Welcome to this here gate. Oh, you want to get through the gate? We have a key. Let's play a game. If you can win, you can have the key. I have to do is guess which one of us has it. Some classic three skull Monty later, and I made a new trio of friends. Nice guys, then. Anyways, they allowed me passage into Disney Studios. The Haunted Halls. I had to swap my weapons to take out the more ethereal encounters I had whilst hymying along the grounds. Feud shit, visited Hans, always be fuging. Chop dead tree, big angie bug, no likey chop tree. Murder bug, swat entire pack of bugs that comes for vengeance. Chop more dead tree, scan a live tree, receive info. When Luce, founder of Acropolis, failed to recover half of her soul stone, she devolved into a virtuous white tree. Frozen high in the city, her impurities dripped from the sky, coalescing into a separate, torturous form. Receive threat. Everything should not be moving about. I summons Ilausia will rebind you to the ground. Proof threat to be true. Awaken. Go to Spoopy Caves. Ew, spider. Ew, 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 ew. Murder almost everything in Spoopy Caves. Scan. Biggest spooter. Receive info. In a plot to defeat the giant palace, Luce split her soul stone in two, and with one half, evolved a spider into the monstrous Bolesh. Once her mission was complete, Bolesh fled underground, beyond the detection of Acronian scouts. 
keeping the soul stone to herself. Succumb to icky, nasty spooter venom. Die. Wake up. Spoopy house. It's a pun. I dislike puns. Take anger out on many spoopy scurrying skeletons. Bust it. Feels <sighs> Stun Stuns bellies with grappling hook like Link in Zelda. Get quarter staff. Make venom staff. Why would I fuse these staffs together? I don't have the necessary stones! Smash crossbow. Haunted gate. I referred me, bitch. I don't need no fucking code. That's it. Give me your grill. More shit. Big hammer go smack. Clonk. Clank. Spoopiness. Why can't I use my enchanted sword on this damn co- <laughs>